Hey YouTube, King PC Gamer here doing a quick video. Uh, should be quick on the PlayStation 4 Pro again, and this is just gonna be a quick workaround for the um, uh, HTCP 2.2 error people are getting. So basically, the console, as in um, the PlayStation 4 isn't um letting people display in this so right now it's set to automatic the HTCP mode i'm going to turn it on and i'm going to show you how what it's doing console just turned on and go up to the monitor and what it's going to do is it's going to display a black screen instead of actually showing up See, it's, and then it like boo loops in the sound. I know many people are experiencing this issue and it's extremely frustrating because we pay $400 for this console. So what you're gonna do, so it's still doing that, you're gonna go back and turn this off. So you heard the first beep, you're gonna turn it off with the second beep. There we go. It's gonna turn off the um, console. So what we're going to do it actually is um, when the console actually goes completely off is we're going to start it up. We're going to put it in safe mode. I'm going to show you how to do that too. It takes a while to turn off. I'm not sure why. But so far I'm loving it. And um, again, this is just a temporary workaround until they, um, they fix it. So... Um, the problem is with this, what we're going to do is, right now is put the PlayStation 4 Pro in safe mode. And that you hold it once, and then keep holding it until you hear that second beep that we just heard. It's going to come on, it's going to say connect your DualShock 4 controller, which we got right here. Connect it to the USB. I'm going to press um, the PlayStation button. You're gonna get to this screen. Now the problem is this mode right here. You're gonna to go to option eight, set HTCP mode. It's on automatic right now. What you're gonna uh, gonna to want to do right now, just for we're just doing this for tutorial sake. Go to HTCP 1.4. Click OK. PlayStation 4 is gonna restart. And we're going to see the logo. PlayStation logo, of course. So there it is. Now the goal of this video, I know there are other videos showing how to bypass this. And uh, via the same method. When you call Sony, this is the method they tell you to use whenever you call Sony's customer service. So anyways, you're gonna go to settings and uh, sound and screen. Video output settings is gonna be here. You can see it's set to 2160p automatically anyways. Um, so right now it's only limited to 1.4 because of what we just did in safe mode. That's not what we wanna do. We pay $400 for this console. We want the full HCCP 2.2 compliancy that we know our TVs have. And Sony's gonna have to fix that soon in an update because I'm not dealing with that. I pay too much money for this. And I wanna watch 4K, <laughs> Netflix, 4K, YouTube, whatever I wanna watch, I wanna watch it. <laughs> Anyways. Um, so what you're gonna do, you're gonna go to settings, you're gonna go to system settings, you're gonna go to enable HTCP, it's gonna be checked, you're gonna disable it.
And remember, right now we're at um, 1.4 mil. Now we're gonna turn it off. So we just disable, that's pretty much all we did. We disable HTCP uh, 2.2. And uh, um, the PS4 Pro is turning off right now. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to safe mode again. Okay, so the console is off, so we're going to go into safe mode, hear the first beep, then after 7 seconds or so, you're going to hear the second beep. Here we go. Okay, so the monitor just came back on. We're going to go through our same thing, it's still connected with the USB port, we're going to click OK. Scroll down to that HTCP mode again. You're gonna set it to automatic this time. Now remember, we disabled um, HTCP in the first place. So, if it was enabled, we get that um, no video, uh, that no video, but sound boot looping error that we got at first. Uh, the flashing you're seeing is that keyboard. Um, yep, and there we go. So this is like the slick part. Someone posted this on like the Sony forums and when I saw it, uh, I was like, okay, that'll work. <laughs> I was doing a different method. The method I was using was I would start my PlayStation 4 Pro without the HDMI cable plugged in and then um, once the PS4 was up and running, I would um, plug the HDMI cable in and then it would come on. So that was my solution. And I was about to post a video of it before I saw this and I thought, okay, maybe this can be better. So I kind of modified what he said. So anyways, you're gonna enable HTCP. Yes. It's gonna do that black screen perfectly normal you're gonna go to sound and screen and guess what you're gonna have HDCP 2.2 you can now watch Netflix at 4k now here's the thing if you try to reboot it while that's enabled it's not gonna work so this is the temporary workaround I was talking about so this comes at a cost until Sony gets their crap together and fixes it, you have to do this. So HCCP 2.2 is enabled. You're gonna have to go to system anytime before you turn the system off. You're gonna have to go to system. You're gonna have to disable HCCP um, entirely, that entire setting. And then you turn the console off. You turn it back on, go back here, re-enable it, and then you got 2.2. That's the only workaround right now. It's extremely annoying, but blame Sony. Uh, that's what you gotta do right now. Um, and I know like it's frustrating because we paid so much money for it. $400 doesn't come out of nowhere. And it just takes seconds to do it. So it's not that big of a deal. But I, I'm, I'm willing to take that risk because I want to watch Netflix. I want to watch YouTube. I, I bought this for 4K. This is just a monitor, so I don't have HDR. But um, yeah, if this video helped you at all, uh, leave a like. I uh, hope it helps somebody. Definitely help me. Alright. Uh, catch y'all in the next video.